Right, let's just do a video, video diary kind of vlog check-in thing. Today's ride, which is on, let me see. I've got a clue what's going on sometimes. We're on the 4th of April, 2014. So, as far as I'm concerned, I say I haven't been cycling that much. Um, if anyone's following me on Strava, you'll see the rides I put up. And otherwise, it's just pit a pattern around if I'll go somewhere to get anything. If I go at all, man, I, I got a car, I use a car occasionally. Um, so it's no bother. So yeah, last Saturday, I went on to cycle, because I, I left my mate and I went on to cycle a bit more. Um, just over 200 kilometres. Um, unfit for me, un unfit kilometres, so just easy really. Um, literally, I'm not like being big-headed or anything, That that was what it was, it was... Just an easy, easy, easy ride. I think a little over nine hours or something. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just spinning around at the moment. So yeah, right. Decided to meet my mate this morning at eight o'clock. Usually we go out earlier. If it's nice, like it will be getting warmer now, so we'll head out earlier, kind of like 7 a.m., 6 a.m., that kind of thing. A lot of people might think that's too early for a ride, but... Um, when you plan that, if you say in the week you're going out early for a ride, the weather looks good and you get out, um, the roads are usually pretty empty. But I do notice, like, compared to, uh, let me see, like six, seven, eight years ago, um, how more busy it is now. Like, you think you're going to go out early and get empty roads, but it ain't always the case, man. Depending which way you go, because, like, if I was to head down south, you know, there's, like, factories more factories like industrial area you're going to get a lot of shift workers hence there'd be a bit more traffic back and forth like lorry drivers and stuff it does make a difference to like say seven years ago where you would head that way and you'd probably be lucky to see two or three cars but now you might get a train coming through like you know but then i could head north and depending which road i go on north the main road again airport traffic like you'd probably have uh, an easy jet flight leaving half seven eight in the morning, so anything around between five a.m. and eight or something, you know, you're going to get a certain amount of traffic, and then obviously coming back, airport transfers, people picking them up. So uh, sometimes difficult to know what to do, but no bother. So you can hit certain lanes. When I say lanes, some of them are tiny and full of cow shit and mud. You know, if it's obviously it's been wet, then you're going to avoid those and go down other lanes. So where I live, in between, like, you see, you've got Blackdown Hills, Mendip Hills, Quantock Hills, plenty of climbing to do. Again, it ain't the Alps, it ain't the Rockies, but it's what you make of it. You can still do a few few thousand feet of climbing if you want. I quite enjoy it anyway. Short, sharp, sweet climbs, but as we go down. Blah blah blah. Run around a bit. Hop over the hills again. There's just there's just unlimited climbs around the area, really. So today we headed to the Mendips. So like I say, I met my mate. Headed out. Um, sometimes it's difficult know to know what to wear because it's kind of between like spring summer kind of now, so it can still be cold. So I got these like convertible mitts that I bought the other day, which are pretty cool. They were like a tenner, like I got them for three quid. So I can pull the mitt off the front and you've got like the fingerless, fingerless glove bit. So they weren't too bad. Started to get hot after a while, so I just stuffed them down the back of my shorts, like round the back. Which is another tip you can do as well, rather than stretch the hell out of your jersey pocket. Plenty of storage place, um, space down inside the back of your Leica shorts where like the big bit goes up on the back. That's what a lot of the pros do, isn't it? So we've got a copy of the pros. But no, I, I just learned that tip off, off a mate like years ago. You can get a gilet or something and roll it up. Stick it like to the small of your back. If you roll it up nice, it's not too uncomfortable. So you've got that storage for a gilet or another spare um, jersey or rain jacket or something. And then you can use your jersey pockets on the back. So a little tip there. So yeah, um, wasn't too bad. Um, it was a little bit drizzly heading out and then it kind of brightened up. I love the British weather, man. I kind of kid you in a false sense of security. Like, you know, oh, the sun's coming out now. Yeah. Next minute it starts to drizzle. And it starts to kind of come out again. Then you get to the base of the hills, and then the mist comes in. 
it was weird, man. When we were going up this hill, it was kind of like its own little ecosystem, like you know, it's like being in a rainforest or something. So then, uh, temps obviously dropped a bit as we were climbing up. It's just, uh, just easy. Nothing, nothing silly. It was fun though. Didn't really see any other cyclists going up the hill. But as we get down the other side, kind of more sort of North Somerset area, I guess you start to see more cyclists because it's more of a catchment area around Cheddar Gorge. So then we came down, skirted through the village, which, oh man, some of these farmers are so messy. This is like this one, luckily not our side of the road, but the other side of the road was just like shit everywhere, like, you know, really needs a good rainstorm or something to blast that off. I went down a lane the other day and it was like, um, <clears throat> it wasn't actually too bad, like, before they'd done it, there was like, you know, you get those flat, flat parts on some roads where the tarmac has just been worn, like, super, super flat, obviously when it rains or something, it goes super, super slippy, but when it's dry, like, where the lorries have kind of been going, all the tractors and cars or whatever, you get that really nice smooth bit of tarmac down the road, so I used to just hit that, and it was kind of a little bit of a downhill as well, so you could get a good tempo on, so the other day they decided to tarmac it, spot on, really nice road now. Um, then I went down there like about, what, two, two weeks later or something, and a farmer had obviously just come out of his field on a very wet, muddy day, and there's just shit everywhere, man. Like, not like cow shit, but just like mud from the field, like clumps of it, like huge, just like where there's just been landing on the road, flying off the tyres, and then obviously the sun's come out, it's like set up hard like concrete, so... I don't know, man. It's kind of dangerous. If you're bobbing down there. It's like hitting a rock in the road or something. So yeah, that that side of the road was like muddy, and most of it had been cleaned up by the rain. So we climbed up again, up into like the clouds, up into the mist, which is good. Um, quite busy traffic going up on top of the Mendips. So then we loop round. Let me see, was it Chart House or Pretty or something? I don't know. Anyway, it comes back down like Cheddar Gorge, which is good. So we just stopped off there in a cafe, had a coffee. Um, not serious rides, see. I try not to drink coffee, man. If I'm going out on a... If I plan to go out on like a long ride or do something, something I want to achieve without stimulant, I shan't have a coffee. So I gave it coffee, coffee for about three months. Um, it was kind of good after a week. I managed fine without it, but just decided to have another one again and if I want one now I'll have one man so yeah we just sat in there at the cold and uh had a coffee had a chitter chatter and uh headed off back home which was fun back through the lanes again but yeah it depends depends what you want to do man you can live in like a ski resort or again a mountainous area which would be nice because you've got those continual climbs haven't you but that short sharp sweeps around where we are it's just good it's what you make of it really so yeah, all in all, an all, enjoyable ride. Got home before it got too busy. And uh, that was it. What more can I say? Just a little video check in there. Um, perhaps you can comment down below on, on your rides or what you enjoy, what time of the day you like to go out riding. Because it is, it is a quality time of day to get out early, get out and do something like, you know you got the rest, rest of the day free. So, yeah, it's cool, man. I like to get out of that sort of time, especially in the summer. Especially as one of those um, epic days, you know. You know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really warm when the sun come, kind of like burns through the cloud. So, yeah, just want to share that. See you later.